Hi Cancer, welcome to Magpie Moonchild. My name is Kaylee, and this is the October general reading for your sign. Um, as always, the housekeeping is down below. So if you want to know how to book a personal reading or how to find different aspects of your birth chart or the decks that I'm using, it's all down below there along with the subscription button if you feel so inclined. So how this is gonna work is I'm gonna pull an energy for the first week of October, the second week of October, the third, and then the last part, so the last week full week and a couple of days afterwards um, and then the fifth card will be an overall energy or something we can harness from that whole month spread that we have just done so let's see what we have for cancer for the first week of October let's see what do we have for cancer we have the two of wands and the two of wands is about having a vision there's something that you feel compelled to do whether that's take a physical journey um, a creative project that you want to get going something that you're clearly very driven and passionate about and you instinctively know this is what you're supposed to be doing but right now it's in this kind of idea phase um the two of wands is all about taking that idea that spark of creativity and bringing it starting to bring it through to be manifest in the 3d in this material world so how are you going to do it it's going to take a while because we have this mountain here so we're planning our route we're planning we're mapping out where it is we want to get to where are we now what is it we're passionate about what do we instinctively know that we need to go and achieve on this journey um, and how are we going to get to the top of that mountain what do we need along the way what provisions do we need what is the route we're going to take what obstacles are going to be coming up along our way it's going to be a long journey wand energy is notoriously quite flash in the pan so make sure that this passion is deep burning deep seated and is going to keep you going through the hard and the obstacles the hard times when you feel blocked or frustrated it matters to you because it's it's from a place that is deep desire but make sure you are harnessing that with commitment um, and the best way to do that is to relieve yourself of as many obstacles as you can foresee along the way and making sure that you're fully equipped as you go through. So you need to bring in the other elements of research, of uh, what the emotional toll is going to be. Do you need some form of emotional support, physical support as we go along? Um, what practicalities do we need to bring on board? If it's a physical journey, then you need to be looking at where it is you want to go, the places that you're going to stop along the way, what resources you need to take with you. If this is to get a project going, you need to have that kind of vision of what it is you want to get to at the end and how you're going to get to that, deconstructing the process to get to. So you don't lose your morale and your creativity along the way. You will find creative solutions along the way, but the less obstacles you find, the more passionate um, and driven you are to get to that end goal. Uh, let's see what we have for the second week of October for Cancer. We have, okay, the Strength card and the King of Wands. So this week you're probably going to feel very uninspired. And like I said, that's a great idea. But it may be that the more you research it, the more you're going to feel like it's impossible. It's not impossible. You just need to find the spark, the drive to keep you going towards that end goal, that end vision. If it comes to it, get advice from somebody that's already in the field, somebody that's already traveled to that place or somebody that is well traveled, at least, at least in that kind of trip that you maybe want to go on. It may be if you're looking at taking up a certain type of medium for artwork or creativity that you speak to somebody who has experience. Do not let a setback put you on your butt, <laughs> put you on your ass is what I'm getting, but put you on your butt you have the resilience the drive the passion to ride out this obstacle that we saw coming so make sure that you have this support network somebody that can help you get over this slump when you feel defeated or deflated or uninspired or almost like there is this setback and you just think why am I doing this? Have somebody that is in your corner that is cheering you, that rallies you up and inspires you to keep going. Tap into your inner core. You do have the strength and the capability of getting through this week, of getting through this phase of stalling. Um, just make sure that you're putting one foot in front of the other. It doesn't matter how small the progress is. Just keep making progress. And if all you've done that week is to stay in one place and be just as you are, you're not going backwards. So make sure that you are standing strong, that your core is stable, that you remember why it is why it is that you are doing this. Why does this trip matter to you? Why does this journey, spiritual, creative, physical journey matter to you? What inspired you to take it? 
harness that, keep that, keep that in you as your guiding light and your drive in order to keep going, to keep moving, to make some progress. Um, even if you don't make any progress, still celebrate, still harness in, just bed in for that week. This energy of stalledness is just transient. Um, you just need to bring in the inspiration, find the inspiration, whether you bring it in yourself or you bring it in from somebody else around you that rallies it through you um, in order to get you going again. So it's going to be kind of a reserves kind of energy for that second week of October. Let's see what we have for the third week of October. We have the Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles is recognising hard labor hard work but it's going to be slow going pentacles energy is incredibly slow but you will start to see a payoff for the work that you're doing that work that that slow that where we've we've got st stuck is kind of going to be you're going to be working your way out of it you're not quite the way where you're like flying and and into any sort of luxurious kind of energy but you are making progress you are seeing that your hard work is going to pay off just keep working away one step at a time, one moment at a time, just keep moving through. But if you look, we're not so far away from the mountain anymore. We're on the foothills. We're starting to actually make progress. We're starting to work our way up that mountain. We are getting there slowly but surely. We are making our way through that journey through to manifestation. And Pentacles is all about what we've made manifest in, this, this, in our world, in our reality. So you are actually taking that idea and physically bringing that through into being. You're working away, plugging away, not losing morale. It's very much the apprentice card. You know you have a way to go. You have to keep working away um, in order to hone your skills. You're gaining skills along this journey. So don't um, negate the journey. Yes, you're focused on the end goal, but there are things along the journey that you are learning from and experiencing and things that you can take and harness and take forward with you. Um, upon reflection so make sure that you are experiencing the journey as you go along um, being appreciating the lessons that you are doing it may be that you find a creative solution that if that hadn't have happened it wouldn't have inspired this this creative solution from you and make you recognize and develop and grow okay let's see what do we have for the last part of october we have the lovers and the lovers is a big choice Make sure that you, this choice is far reaching con, um, consequences. You can, okay, when this comes up, it's very much the choice between what is hard and what is easy. There is a, a path that is harder and you will gain so much more knowledge, or there is a path that is easy, but you'll pretty much stay where you are. You're not going to have any growth. You're just going to kind of stay where you are, plateaued. Um, so there is a choice. You need to be making sure before you make this choice, that you are gaining as much information and insight as you can before you make it. Do not rush this choice. This is major arcana, it has major repercussions. Very much if that is to do with a job, you can leave the job you're in and go to a new job. And if that doesn't work out, that's great. You can change and go back to the field that you were in originally, or you can even go back to the company that you're in, but you won't be in the exact same job that you were before, which is why it's so hard, right? There's comfort. You're not growing where you are. You're not completely fulfilled, but there is comfort in knowing the ins and outs of that job and knowing the paycheck that comes in and what's expected of you moving to a new job and a new place there's there's risk attached to that you may not be as happy it may not work out but equally you can grow you can flourish you can fly you can develop you can work your way up a tier system and promotion and develop that way but it's going to take work and it's going to take effort right so you can stay where you are and be happy enough or you can be fulfilled and accomplished and, and, and work your way through. I don't know if this is a reflection of your decision to make that choice, to do that harder path, to do the hard work and reminding yourself that if I was, if I took the other path, then I would still be where I was. I'd be unhappy. At least now I've grown. I can already see how much growth I've made. I'm evolving. I'm developing. I'm gaining wisdom. I'm gaining knowledge and appreciating that part of your journey and reflecting on the decision and how already it's so different for you or whether there is a new decision coming in and you need to reflect on it in that way where do I take the hard path which will bring me this great benefit but it's going to take all this work or do I take the easy path and kind of stay where I am already so there's going to be a hard decision you need to be tapping into your intuition as much as your logic to make this decision the snake moves between worlds 
Also, being in that in-between worlds, it really feels like this is very much tied to sewing, the end of the month, Halloween. So it's it's going to be that kind of allowing signs and signals to come in to help us tap into our intuition, our spiritual side, um, calling in for guidance if we require, require it. Um, the veil is very thin around Halloween. It's the thinnest it goes. Um, so spirit is very much around us. So if you want to have some information from them or some, some wisdom from them, ask them for a sign, ask them for the information to be brought into you so you can make this decision with as much clarity and insight and information as you can do to make that fully informed decision before you take that step. Okay, let's see what the overall energy is for this month, Cancer. What do we have for the overall energy? We have temperance. And temperance is, again, finding that sweet spot, finding the balance between what makes us happy and what makes us driven and fulfilled. Um, and like I said, with that fire energy, harnessing that fire energy in a really healthy way, temperance is often shown as fire and water. Um, and we can have too much fire, which means we have no water at all, or we can have too much water that puts out the fire. But if we blend them beautifully, these two opposing forces, if we find that sweet spot, we create steam. And that steam can be sustained, um, and we can use it and harness that, harness that sweet spot of steam in order to power an engine or power a motor. And we can, we can then harness the energy of that motor and use that kinetic energy in order to power a car or power a train or power a motor. There is power when we bring two equal forces together in order to um, find the sweet spot. And as they, if, they're, if they're balanced in the right way, then amazing things, exponential growth and expansion and potential is unleashed um, to its fullest um limits that it can achieve so if this is to do with a relationship if this is a relationship that or a trip you're looking to do find the balance between what you can afford and where it is you want to go is <laughs> it's, it's trying to find that sweet spot and getting the most out of your money or it's um if it's a, if it's a project that you've been doing it's it's what do i want to bring into the project or, against what materials you actually have access to um, and it's bringing this kind of inspiration and practicality, this creative air idea and the practicalities of it and bringing it together in order to kind of create the, the most potential and um, realisation of potential that we, that we can to have this contraction of the two together, to have all of this and all of this isn't going to work, but to blend them in the middle, to contract them to the most... Um, beautiful sweep spot where there's the least loss for each person each each element then we can have this amazing thing happen temperance is also about mediation so if there is arguments this this month you could well be bringing two opposing forces together in order to um, two opposing forces together in order for them to um, come about um, reconciling um, a crisis point in their relationship it can be a friendship or a work relationship or whatever but you could be to bring in two warring parties together in order to mediate at which point they may well make a choice to leave or stay or heal or whatever but there's a decision to be made um and also temperance is also the alchemist so you can bring two things that you think aren't going to work together in order to make them work and blend quite cohesively there could also be sagittarian um, or Gemini there's a lot of fire energy around you that Sagittarian um, energy and also the the, the, the talkie of Gemini so be mindful of the fact that um, Mercury retrograde is happening right now if there are if you are negotiating negotiating and mediating two people um, reconciling differences be aware that miscommunication could be a huge factor in where that's come down um, so recognizing the gemini the two sides to every story that one person seen it black and one person seen it white and is that because there was ambiguity in the words so gain that clarity and, and, and make sure that people are meeting in the middle recognizing the other perspective um and yeah you're pretty divinely protected right now so if you need it call in your angels to help you with guidance and as i said the veil is very thin so call in those guides around you spirit guides around you if you require some kind of um, navigation or help with your intuition, your spiritual guidance system, 
um, in order to make these hard decisions or to know intuitively where to apply your energy and which direction to go. If you want some guidance on how to make decisions and, and, and ways to move forward. I hope this is of some use to you, Cancer. Hopefully I will see you again soon. Bye for now.